The Calf is an isolated and often windswept spot off the southern coast of the Isle of Man. It's less than one mile square and is only lived on for part of the year by wardens who oversee the nature reserve here. Its isolation and quietness make it the perfect breeding ground for grey seals. Staff from the Manx Wildlife Trust and a team of volunteers will spend the coming weeks away from the comforts of home, living on the calf and studying the animals. We come and look, at, look for the seal pups and we count how many there are, what development stages there are. And we also look at photo identification work, so we'll take photographs of the mums and dads to get a better understanding of, of the population we have here, whether they're mothers that come back year on year and raise their pups on the calf, or whether there may be new individuals that are coming in from, from somewhere else and we haven't seen them before. Identifying the seals and analysing their behaviour will help with future conservation work. Well, we can pilot year on, year on, so we can sort of see how things have changed in terms of numbers from previous years. It helps build an idea of what the population on the calf is doing, whether we're getting an increase in, in pup numbers or whether they're decreasing. It gives us an indication of the health of the population. Well, we're lucky to have picked a really good day to come to the Calf of Man. Often at this time of year, the weather conditions are atrocious, the sea is rough, and unfortunately, some of these baby seals won't survive. This year, so far, we've had about five, five or six um, pups um, die. Unfortunately, during my time here, the weather's been absolutely horrendous, um, and they've been caught short, really. Um, there's not much you can really do about it. It's all part of the process, unfortunately. And, and you know, it goes to show that the seal, that the seal mums who pick the more desirable places that are better sheltered inevitably do better with their pups. The weather and sea have been mild since this tiny pup was born just a day ago and conditions are due to become harsher over the coming days. But fingers crossed, this will be one of the lucky ones who will return in future years to breed on the calf. Amy Mulhern, ITV News in the Isle of Man. That is just too cute. Waving goodbye. Absolutely gorgeous. Aww. Now the weather.